This woman, Henrietta Swan Leavitt, discovered something remarkable about stars, something that dramatically changed our understanding of the universe. One class of star was at the center of her discovery, and one particular star became famous. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to find that star. You can see it with the unaided eye. Our understanding of the true scale of the universe is relatively recent. In the early 1900s, astronomers were observing deep space objects like galaxies with no understanding of what they were or how distant they were. Most astronomers thought the Andromeda galaxy was some sort of glowing cloud, a nebula relatively close to Earth, but not close enough to measure using parallax, a type of triangulation. At the same time, Henrietta Leavitt was employed at Harvard College University, analyzing photographic plates of the night sky. She was comparing images taken over a period of time looking for stars that changed brightness with a regular period. The large glass photographic plates were negatives. They looked like this. An optical device called a blink comparator was used to analyze two plates. Images of identical areas of the sky taken at different times. The comparator optically overlaid the images, switching rapidly from one plate to the other, revealing variable stars as blinking or changing spots of light. In this simulation, we can see a blinking star. Henrietta Leavitt detected a pattern in one class of these blinking variable stars. These stars are called cepheid variables. They have a period of one day up to 70 days, and they have a unique light curve signature. The light curve looks like this. A rapid rise to maximum brightness with a slow fall to minimum brightness. This curve is the signature of a cepheid variable. Over 200 cepheid variable stars are close enough to Earth so that their distance can be determined by triangulation or parallax. Knowing the distance to a star makes it possible to calculate its absolute magnitude, that is, its intrinsic brightness. Levitt studied these nearby variable stars and made a remarkable discovery. She demonstrated that there is a direct relationship between the period of a cepheid variable and its absolute magnitude. The longer the period, the brighter the star is at maximum. This chart shows that relationship. For instance, if a cepheid variable has a period of 10 days, it achieves a maximum absolute magnitude of minus 5. The smaller the number, the brighter the object. The significance is this. If you observe a cepheid variable at a very great distance, that is too distant to be measured by any geometry, you now have another approach. Observe the star and determine its period. Then from Levitt's chart, you can determine the actual magnitude or brightness of this star. Knowing this, it is possible to measure the light energy arriving at your telescope and use the physics of radiant energy to determine the distance to that star. Henrietta Leavitt's discovery profoundly changed our understanding of the universe. In the early 20th century, most astronomers believed that the Milky Way galaxy, our galaxy, defined the universe. Objects like the Andromeda galaxy were assumed to be glowing nebula contained within the Milky Way. That all changed on October the 6th, 1923. Astronomer Edwin Hubble, using the new powerful 100-inch telescope at Mount Wilson, discovered a cepheid variable star within the Andromeda Nebula. Using the new knowledge about cepheid variables, he came to the astounding conclusion that the Andromeda Nebula was actually another galaxy located an unimaginable distance from the Milky Way. Hubble found more cepheid variables in other nebula. The cosmos was expanding. Henrietta Leavitt's discovery redefined the universe. This story started with a single star, Delta Cephei, the first cepheid variable discovered. This star is located in the constellation Cepheus, the origin of the class name Cepheid. You can actually witness the variability of this important star. 
Delta Cephei has a period of 5.4 days with an apparent magnitude range of 3.5 to 4.5, meaning it is visible to the unaided eye. Here is where you will find Delta Cephei. This summer view of the northern horizon shows Ursa Major, Cassiopeia, and Polaris, the North Star. Delta Cephei is located here. If you have a dark sky viewing location, follow the star for six days to see the change in brightness. You can compare its brightness to adjacent non-variable stars. We have links to more information about Delta Cephei at our website, hyloroad.com delta. And for more science and technology videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.